This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. July 27, Slums Below and Slums Above. Galatians 2.10 says, Their only suggestion was that we keep on helping the poor, which I have always been eager to do. That church is located on the outskirts of the Argentinian city of Santa Fe, where pesos are currency, do not reach. It's a high crime area, a marginal area, a slum. The church had been robbed seven times, even suffered the threat of a fire. We were invited to preach, and we went with a willing heart. The structure did not stand out in the walls in relation to the surrounding houses, exposed cement blocks, bars on the windows, damp walls. I had a very different picture when I started talking to the church members. They were people with drive, resilience, and cheerful spirits. They were good people who had gone wherever people needed them. Admirable. We usually go to the slums below to do some solidarity sightseeing. We like to do something for those in most need on the appointed dates. This is not bad, but it's not enough. People in need are usually still in need the day after our donations. We must think more of the poor, the marginalized, the lost, because that is the essential function of Christianity. The church must cross the sidewalk of comfort and settle in spaces where its benevolent influence is needed. We were at a Congress We had heard every interesting topic about biblical documents, transmission, participated in translation workshops, studied at the possibility of buying very deep and expensive books. At one point, my activity partner, a scholar of the denomination, quite different from mine, opened his heart to me. As a good pastor, I listened to his loneliness, his doubts his social pressures, and then I talked to him. I spoke to him about consistency in theology, about returning to our belief in God, about the beliefs of reason and of faith. He was a university student with universal needs because educated people also have weak points. We usually go to the slums above to do some cultural sightseeing. We like to turn to centers of knowledge in academic moments. We share some other ideas, those that do not hold us accountable and supposedly level us with others' curricula. That is also not bad, but it is not enough. We have to think that there is pain and loneliness up there too. We need to think more about their existential debates, their conceptual perplexities, their complex human relationships. The church must cross the sidewalk of camouflage and set out the importance of this message. Let us stop sightseeing and actually move in next to the suffering soul, next to the one who yearns together. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this, walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.